So congratulations on the film. It's Thank you. hilarious. How did you prepare for a role like that? Did you draw on any personal experiences? Um, I don't know if I prepared in any way, I mean, because it was quite a light-hearted film, <laughs> but um, uh, I think because of the nature of the style of shooting that they do, you know, their comedy style is very improvised based, you know, and so I think, I think in that way you are bringing quite a lot of yourself to the table because you're sort of writing the lines as you think of them and I think Jason and Nick spend a lot of time thinking about casting the right person for the right role and um, and I think that's half the battle. Well I think it's fair to say that the proposal in the film was perhaps a little bit awkward. What was your real life marriage proposal like? Um, it was really lovely and it was a real surprise and that's all I'll say about it. Woo! <laughs> Come on, it's so nice! Fuck it. Do it! No! Oh! oh! What? Ah! What? My hip, my hip! Oh my god! I landed on some... Oh, it's a fire hydrant! What the fuck is a fire hydrant oh, doing there? Poor old grandpa. Oh god. Oh. Did I just say my hip, my yes, hip, my did. hip? Yes, you did. Sorry, babe. You seem to have a natural chemistry on the film with Jason, um, which makes it even more hilarious. Is what happens when the chemistry isn't there? Well, it's funny, because chemistry is such an ethereal, strange thing, and you either have it with someone or you don't. And I think that when you don't have it, you've just got to sort of cultivate it in some way. And you can do it, you just act it, you know, but. It's, it's really nice when it's there naturally, you know, that you have a natural kind of warmth and rapport with that person. And I've had it with Jason, some other people I've worked with, you know, men and women, you know, you can have chemistry with someone who's playing your sister, you know, it's, it's, chemistry is one of those things that's within all relationships, I think. What's it like working as a woman in comedy? Do you think there's sort of much more of a market for it since Bridesmaids? Yeah, I do. I think every chick should be really grateful to Bridesmaids because um, they were some of the funniest women captured um, on celluloid. So I think it was really great, and um, and it was a it was just it was a good signal to the industry. I think, and the industry often feels that it, that the women are sort of play the straight person in a funny man's movie and that's the way that you get bums on seats that's where you make money and I think Bridesmaids just shattered that theory you know and it came out of nowhere and um, everyone flocked to see it once twice men women and so I do think that there will be a little turn going on which is very nice do you think you'll be part of that turn I hope so I mean I mean I think that there are movies quite different from Bridesmaids though because I think it's it's not uproariously funny at every turn. I think it's trying to capture some of that, those 70s romantic comedies where it's, you know, you see the unraveling of this relationship. It's more of an exploration. And I think what you laugh at, what is so hilarious about it is that it's very true to life and it's recognizable, you know? Well, Christians will be served communion. Communion? What, we're gonna have communion at my son's wedding? Um, it's our wedding, Pete, and I mean, seeing as everyone's gonna be wearing yarmulkes. Well, actually, only the men will be wearing yarmulkes, so... Well, I've never heard you say the word yarmulke till today. I... Excuse me, I say yarmulke all the time. You don't. You... Like, hey, where's my yarmulke, babe? Babe, have you... Have you seen my yarmulke? You don't have a yarmulke. I have a hold. It's in my... You... Jewish drawer. So, off camera, you're super stylish, but in more <laughs> under, understated way. Um, does what you wear on screen influence your personal style? Like, who's your favourite designers? For, if you're talking about like a red carpet, I love Ellie Saab and Chanel and Oscar de la Renta. You know, I love, I think they do the most beautiful dresses and they're so feminine and they really understand women. And um, But I think when it comes to a, making a movie, um, I love that physical element of creating a character with the clothes and the hair and little changes and shifts for me are very good to try and embody someone else. I don't want to just wear the same thing or feel like the same person in every movie. I love the shape-shifting element of it. So I kind of liked my character Violet had this really cool eclectic style. You know, it was kind of vintage mixed with, you know, thrift shop stuff. And it was just, it felt really original and sweet. Your sort of next role is your sister's sister, and you kind of jump from Hollywood mainstream to slight indie films. Yeah. How do you pick? What do you go? For, what you go for? I mean, it's sometimes the people involved, but usually it's um, the material, you know, um, 
or the character and if I respond to the character and I'll know very immediately I'll know sort of after 30 pages if I want to do it and um, I do like the mixed bag of things that are out there so I do intend to take full advantage of the variety of different working methods and different genres and that for me is the joy of it really.